ladies and gents, welcome to the Leon Car Shop. We're here for the second time. Behind us is the new Volkswagen T-Cross facelift. So in this video, we're gonna check it out, exterior interior changes. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Here's the new Volkswagen T-Cross facelift in this new, like a light blue sky color, so metallic. And we have a small changes on the front and rear bumper design. Uh, front lights, I think they're slightly darker than uh, the first original model and then you're gonna see the change on the taillights that were slightly boring in my opinion they look way better now so let's come a little bit closer and check it out so we have nice creases on the hood and close up at the new metallic color there so we have the IQ lights we have the lens there two reflectors third one here I think the fog light is integrated in this main light cluster we have a daytime running light extending towards the front uh, through the front grille and towards the badge so this one turns into hazard or turn signal here there is seems to be like a light but I know that the turn signal is on the top so I don't think these are uh, fog lights I'm not 100% sure to be honest now there's a little bit chrome surrounding here and not a fan of that there's also a little bit beneath the top grille they've added this piano black details which are nice and underneath there's this uh, well this is like a nice smooth finish on the silver part and this is unpainted plastic it extends towards uh, the back end so all around there's arches and side skirt and over here at the bottom as well uh, like a lip on the front so uh, we have also unpainted grill on the bottom and these are big openings so there's stone chips are gonna hit that radiator which has no protection uh, whatsoever so it might be a potential very expensive repair in the future when that starts corroding hmm Volkswagen Volkswagen there's some major errors there in design also you can see air intake there you can see the radiator and of course there's a Volkswagen badge when it's shiny like this and transparent there's a radar behind it now let's back up so you can see the whole car it does look better on the front end than the pre-facelift you can see it from this angle and checking the alloys these look nice silver on black five spoke and these are 215 45 r18 now there's your VIN number and over here we have the light and rain sensor lane assist camera standard uh, another look at the blue metallic color silver roof racks and over here turn signals a little puddle light maybe and have the blind spot in the mirror physically and there as you can see the reflection uh blind spot warning towards the driver now checking the profile of the car so you can see that uh, skirt protection there if you're going slightly off-roading there is a little chrome underneath volkswagen in the b pillar tinted windows on the rear and now you have the antenna there but it was removed on the car show you can see it's a screw on so it doesn't get stolen maybe I don't know and there is body extending from the spoiler like this black piece and now voila now I'm limited uh, because of this but you can see the car here so it looks better than the first or the pre facelift uh, I like these new like X so these are like on the new ID7 for example and you have this IQ light, so they are 3D. You can see that, that looks really beautiful. There's like a plexiglass pieces inside uh, with illumination, looks beautiful. So you have the reverse and fog lights. Um, and you have the LED turn signals. Now you can see here, parking sensors 360. You have the cat eyes and the rear uh, bumper and a small kind of discrete diffuser. Looks better in my opinion. Also a little silver accent there. So matte silver paint, nice and smooth. And over here you can see underneath you have the LED lights and back in camera with a big lens. So you press underneath to open. So let me just move here so you can see when it's closed, how that looks. It's a big stoplight there, rear wiper. So when we open this up, cargo space is the same so this one's manual so you can as you can see here 
pull here, there's an opening option from the inside. There's an emergency triangle on the top. It's plain plastic there. And you can see you can remove the top cover. So you could maybe fit something here when it's down. And nice wide opening. This is almost flat. There's like one finger of height. So on the right side, there's a warm light. Only on the right, you have those four tether points. You have grocery hooks on both ends. You have these stoppers. I'm gonna demonstrate what they're for. So uh, I think, yeah, this is where the antenna is. Not sure why someone uh, removed it, but they've placed it here for some reason. And maybe they just forgot to put it on top. And over here, you can see those stoppers hold uh, the false floor. And uh, in this case, there's an amplifier here and this is a spare tire with smaller dimension. So there is like maybe five and then six, excuse me, seven or eight fingers of height. So you can take this out and then lower it like this. So you can see that, so it can be deeper. So yeah, it's like five, six fingers and then this is uh, thick, maybe one finger there. So this is practical, small, compact, uh, like an SUV, not really an SUV. So yeah, let me see if I can put this back. Actually, no, I'm just gonna leave it here, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't want anyone from Volkswagen getting upset for me putting up that up there because of my OCD uh, T-Cross signature there. So this is manual closing and you can see that this is now definitely a trend in the car industry, putting letters instead of badge, but Volkswagen decided to keep the badge and then just put the model there instead of saying Volkswagen. So backing up, checking the car from this angle. Interesting, definitely more dynamic looking. I would say this is like, it looks like the ID cars, but I wanted to say this is more like for the Chinese market. They like this fancy lights uh, on the back. Now, uh, let's move to the side and excellent opening and closing sound from Volkswagen. Over here, you can see uh, doors open fairly wide. So one seal here extending to the bottom. You can put your key here, turn it to lock from the inside if you have kids. And they're saving here. So this is slightly uh, less weight, but uh, it helps you in the fuel run. But this is all hard plastic. The reality is they were just saving money on this because it's a lot cheaper and they're saving a lot of money and selling you more expensive cars. So you should rethink, should you buy Volkswagen or another car uh, because the inflation is just crazy and it's a lot of competition these days uh, reflective vest pockets are nice and big power windows and you have a step here that's plasticky now they've added uh, in some models this smart seat belt holders so you can just pull here so this is redesigned and you can see here the space in the back so you can use that shelf you can put like something in the back uh, seats knocked down I forgot to mention 60 40 and I don't think there's an opening yeah there's no ski opening in the D cross or at least at this model now they did add this new uh, textile and then this is like artificial man-made leather and some textile it does look nice though to be honest, you have those isofix points there and you can see how that looks. Now let's jump inside. So there is plenty of feet room and plenty of knee room. This, this seat is way up high though. So I have plenty of feet room. Let's close this up. Now all the doors are closed and it's a nice soundproof, but it could be better maybe. There's an opening here and two USB-Cs for uh, fast charging hopefully you have a really tall transmission tunnel and you can squeeze the third person this is nice and um, soft you have big tall windows there and you have these nice physical switches for the top lights because uh, some cars get those in the touch option so my personal favorite is having physical buttons you have hooks in the B pillars but they've removed same as on the uh, new Polo there 
they removed the top handles for some reason. So another saving there. And then you should think, should I get a Volkswagen or no? Because why are they saving so much on some dumb features? There's no AC vents here. I mean, that would be more useful than this hole. Um, so just a little critic there. And this adjusts up and down. So headspace in the T-Cross for a two meter tall person is actually quite decent. I am slightly touching the roof, but if yeah, if I extend uh, this on the back here, if I want to stir up my back and my head is slightly short though, but for an average person, it should be okay. Now I'm uh, uh, disappointed at Volkswagen. I was a fan in the past, but they're starting to save so much and they've increased the prices of their models. So I'm not super happy about that. But looking at the front, um, I think the screen part has been redesigned. And let's let's get on the front and check that out. So definitely there's some improvements, but also some cost saving features they've introduced. So over here you can pop, there's a physical cylinder there. This one has a keyless entry. So opening and closing and front doors open fairly wide. We have plastic here, so they added at the front at least this uh, leather option and big pockets. You can lock the rear for the kids, power windows, you can fold and heat those, lock and lock from the driver's side. And this is not a carbon fiber imitation, but it's some sort of similar uh, plastic detail there extending through the dash. And over here we have manual up and down. Pull this one up to slide back and forward. Over here you can store that uh, reflective vest. And this is for the lumbar and you can tilt. So the passenger has some sort of this mechanism for the tilt. It's not the same. And view at the top. Still nice physical switches for the lights. This one's blank. Manual adjustment for the steering column. Let's jump inside. Before we do that, here's your tire pressure info and I'm gonna pop the bonnet later you have the automatic rubber pedals so good closing sound fairly good soundproof considering we are on a car show let me just adjust slightly and I'm gonna switch to wide lens so this is the point of view and I think definitely uh, just from top of my head they've changed this screen basil it looks like uh, in the new T-Rock and slightly different also, this is changed, so uh, they've added these sliders, if I'm not mistaken. But not a huge fan of that. Let's zoom back in. Now, we have slightly textured, but it's mostly smooth steering wheel. So, three spoke with a flat bottom. So, physical buttons, they're nice and physical. Uh, I think they were in the T Cross, they didn't add the touch options. You have also the sport paddles because this one's the 7-speed automatic or DSG. Uh, they've added this slightly redesigned levers for the turn signals, lights, and wipers. And you can see here, so on and off, air vents. And they added some leather here, but this is hard plastic, it's just padded. And this is soft. So this is soft, but this is hard plastic. And yeah, it's just, they could have added uh, some soft touch materials. They could have added this on the back and they could have added these. Come on, Volkswagen. Both speakers and this looks like a really cheap insert because before they had really nice uh, Bose speakers designed there. They're just like really, it's like if they're not trying, I don't know, they're just cheaping out on some parts. It's really disappointing, if, even for me as a reviewer, but especially if I'm a customer and looking to pay so much money with the increased prices, I'm starting to think, is this like really worth the money, you know? Tell me in the comments, what do you think? We have the digital cockpit, new infotainment here, and everyone's are below, so the screen is uh, on the top, so your eyes are closer to the road. Now here, there's a mess. So we have nice buttons, there's no blanks. Start, stop, off, parking sensors on and off, self-parking in this one, uh, hazards. You can see the hazards and you can see also that blind spot uh, there and you have your driving modes circuit passenger airbag info and then you have this horrible touch controls for the ac 
I mean, the layer is nice, don't get me wrong, but I still prefer the physical knobs. There's a new Superb in camo there, and it has rollers. So why Volkswagen, why remove those? Um, two USB-C chargers, there's a phone charger, everything is extra here, this is an extra for sure. Um, yeah, start stop button there, and yeah, 7 speed automatic, you have the 12 volt there, and manual handbrake. This is one of the last Volkswagen cars with manual handbrake. In the future, they say they're gonna remove all of those, put those electronic buttons. Cup holders, not adjustable, but it is rubberized. Okay, they didn't save that. There, and this is plastic. So it's decent space. This does extend, has levels. Okay, at least they didn't remove that and cheapen out on that. Once again, uh, look at the front seats. You have the Isofix, and these look nice and really quality looking. It's just the small savings they removed just kind of spoils the whole car. I don't know. And at least for me personally, sorry if I'm being a little bit slightly negative, but we need to add some criticism because otherwise they won't listen. Uh, here, no DVD anymore, SD cards, they removed that like years ago. This is plastic key, so you get these, like, I don't know, manual and a uh, service book, I guess. And that's it. Uh, front headspace, the seat is slightly tall, so definitely enough headspace. I can lower this down so I would have even more headspace. And uh, this is switched off and we don't have the key. So, um, yeah, forgot the start stop is at the bottom. So it's gonna say no key, we are in French, so this is in French. But if I open the doors, you can see the digital speedo there. And then Beats Audio. So it's slightly slow. Uh, navigation's booting up also like for 2020, for almost it's end of 2023 this is like outdated infotainment it's slow it just takes a while to boot up it has a classical menus so they've added like the design of the led taillights of the new id cars like the id7 but they didn't introduce the new infotainment here i'm sorry it just goes back to this message but everything is like the classical volkswagen uh, navigation that we have uh in the seventh generation of like the Golf uh, and well, the Polo is as well here. So I'm sorry, this is just switching here randomly. Um, this is a car show, so for some reason these cars are in demo modes and they act up. Um, finishing on the top, we have a little basil on the mirror, good overview uh, 360 through the mirrors. Uh, you do have the, those LED lights here, but nice and physical switches. You have the uh, road assistance, excuse me, that should be this one, emergency call, not sure what this is. Uh, and over here you have the uh, big privacy mirror and you have the document holder. So also like the most more expensive models got a light here when you open this, turns on, but this one uh, never had it. Not the, even the pre-facelift and this is definitely doesn't extend. Look at the, all the real, real estate here that's not covered in this so uh, the reason why I'm criticizing Volkswagen is simply because BMW decided to uh, pay for subscription for the heated seats that you already had for like Apple CarPlay. This has Apple CarPlay. Uh, and when people criticize that, they decided a few years later to just uh, remove that because it was really dumb. So we should criticize Volkswagen in order to change those savings and you know just offer uh, more value for money like they used to now let's wrap it up so in the middle of the badge push to the left so there's a little uh, leg you can put up so this is the, uh, i believe 1.0 tsi so it's a three cylinder petrol uh, the other thing is your washer fluid and has a little cover on the top gonna let it drop closes perfectly so checking the spec here to so Volkswagen T-Cross style package so that's the top package before the R-Line or the sport package so you have the 1.0 TSI 115 horsepower 10-speed uh, automatic DSG and so 
yeah, you have some uh, options here. This is all in French. So base price is 32,000 and 30 euros. Um, you can definitely get this car for less, at least 5,000 euros less before. Uh, maybe, maybe not in the style package, but still. Uh, and in Croatia, this car is more expensive. In France, they're slightly cheaper, I'd say. But we have some different uh, taxes for the uh, CO2. Uh, once again, uh, beautiful looking. I really like the back end. I always like the front end. New Volkswagen T-Cross facelift. So everyone, thank you for watching. Tell me in the comments below how do you like the new redesign or facelift of the T-Cross. And hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.